In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Welcome to the Grotto of Lourdes in Litchfield. Bienvenidos al Santuario de Lourdes. Um, we have the prayer group from Stanford, right? Friendship prayer group. And I think we have people from St. Edwards. In, oh, there you are. Okay, very good. Well, welcome from St. Edwards in New Fairfield. You're very welcome here as we celebrate this liturgy. My name is Father Don LaSalle. This is Father Jacob, Montford Father from Kenya, who's visiting us, and we're happy to welcome you here. Let us open our hearts in this place devoted to Jesus, devoted to Mary, his mother. Let us open our hearts to receive God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you desire to lead us to the fullness of life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, Lord God, you have shown us in the Blessed Virgin Mary the model of sublime love and profound humility. Grant that your church may be like her, obedient to your commandment of love, so that by giving itself wholeheartedly to seeking your glory and to serving others, it may stand before all peoples as the sacrament of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When the apostles entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of, of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Lord loves the city founded on holy mountains, loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling in Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, but of Zion it must be said, they all were born right there. Response. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Most High confirms this, the Lord notes in the register of the peoples. This one was born here, so all sing, all sing in their festive dance. Within you is my true home. Glorious things are taught of you, O city of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh, happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O oh, blessed mother of the church, 
you warm our, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your son Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servers, Fill the jars with water. So they <laughs> filled them to the brim. Then Jesus told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at, as the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. This is a very human situation in the gospel today. There's a wedding, there's a party, people are having a good time, and they run out of wine. It's a problem, an embarrassment for the bride and groom. What to do? The interesting thing is Mary is someone who notices. Mary is someone who sees this need and is concerned. She's concerned about the bride, the bridegroom. She's concerned that they're going to be embarrassed. She's concerned that this celebration is going to fall flat because they don't have any wine. And so this Mary who notices the needs around her goes to Jesus. And they have this very interesting conversation. It's kind of one of those, ah, oh, mom, moments. Because Mary says to Jesus, yeah, they don't have wine. You have to do something. And Jesus says, oh, mom, come on. I'm not ready yet. This isn't the time. But Mary knows Jesus. And she simply says to the servers, just do whatever he tells you. Do whatever he tells you. And Jesus performs this miracle as one of his great signs in the Gospel of John. Throughout the Gospel of John, we read all these wonderful signs that are signs of God's presence in Jesus. And in a sense, it's kind of peculiar. You would think, you know, for, your, for his first miracle, Jesus would do something very dramatic. Heal the sick, raise the dead. But wine? Changing water into wine? But he decides that this need, this celebration, is something he should 
care about. It's a very human situation and it's a good reminder to us of a number of things. First of all, Mary notices things. Mary notices when we're in need. Even if it's little things or big things, Mary notices. And Mary always turns to her son Jesus and intercedes for us. And Jesus responds because Jesus himself is one who notices our need. Whether they're small or big, Jesus notices. And the advice that Mary gives to the servers is good advice for us. She says to the servers, do whatever Jesus tells you. It's good advice for us. Do whatever Jesus tells you. The more we open our hearts to Jesus, the more we're attentive in prayer, we can listen to what Jesus is telling us, and we can do whatever he tells us to do. So as disciples of Jesus today, we're called to imitate Mary, imitate Jesus, to be people who notice, people who notice the needs of others around us, people who are ready to reach out in little ways, in big ways, so that through us, Jesus can reach out and help others. That is our call as disciples of Jesus. That is our call as sons and daughters of Mary. Let's offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for the church, we pray for one another, that we may have the eyes to see the needs around us and the hearts to reach out and respond to them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who come in pilgrimage to the grotto today. We pray especially for the people from St. Edwards in New Fairfield and the Friendship Prayer Group from Stamford. We pray that this day may be a blessing for you, for you and all your intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. We pray for Pope Francis, for our bishops, for all those who lead the church. We pray for Pope Francis' continued recovery. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are sick, all those we know who need God's healing. We pray for Anna Deaver, for Brian Kaye, for Brian McKee, for Linda, for all those who need God's healing touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. We pray for all those who have asked for our prayers, we pray for Elizabeth Zaharek. We pray for all who have gone before us in faith, all those who have died. We pray for Chick Irardi, for Michael, and the Mass is offered for Mary Beyer. We pray for all those who have died, for all those who mourn a loved one that they've lost. We pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers that we hold in our hearts, let's pause for a moment in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord yes, Loving God, in your mercy, look upon our needs. Notice what we need and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we find Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice and our lives may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. Lord, transform these gifts which we bring to you with joyful hearts into the sacrament of our salvation. On this memorial of the Virgin Mary in glory, for she is the shining model of true worship for your church and of our duty to offer ourselves as a holy victim, pleasing in your eyes, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in your infinite goodness you have given to the Virgin Church the model of true worship in the Virgin Mary. She is the virgin who listens, who embraces your words with joy, treasuring them in the silence of her heart. She is the virgin of prayer, who sings of your mercy in her canticle of praise, who shows concerns for the bridegroom and bride of Cana, and intercedes for them with her son, who prays with the apostles in oneness of mind and heart. She is the Virgin Mother who gives birth to your Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. And at the foot of the cross, she is proclaimed as Mother of the people of the New Covenant. She is the Virgin who offers, presenting the firstborn in your temple and sharing in his self-offering beside the tree of everlasting life. She is the virgin who keeps vigil, awaiting the resurrection of her son with unwavering hope and looking forward to the coming of the Holy Spirit with steadfast faith. In our joy, we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Leonard our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Filled with the Spirit of Jesus, we are able to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all together. 
to everlasting life. For the reception of communion, if you would come down the center aisle in two lines. If walking is a difficulty, you can stay where you are. After the others have come forward, just raise your hand and we'll come to you and bring communion to you.
Let us pray. Lord God, we have offered to you in sacrifice the holy mysteries of your table and have received with loving hearts the body and blood of your Son. Grant that your church may look always to the Blessed Virgin and so grow in fervor of faith, be confirmed in love, and be strengthened by the hope of future glory through Christ our Lord. So the cafe is opened if you want lunch. I know some of you are having lunch there. Some of you may have brought your own lunch. Um, so the cafe is open now. The gift shop is opened. Um, and then those of you who are here on pilgrimage at 3 o'clock will gather back here for the rosary and for benediction. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father and Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thank you. Have a good day.